and Wookiees, it's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and today I'm going to be talking again about Star Wars The High Republic because there's this, there's just so much surrounding all of this nonsense with it, and I think, I mean, there's rumors, I haven't really covered it just because I need more, you know, substantial evidence for the fact, but there's this rumor that at Lucasfilm there's this civil war between the John Favreau and Dave Filoni faction and then the Kathleen Kennedy faction. Now again, I, I need more hardcore evidence before I'm gonna, you know, take that seriously because everything with Star Wars, well, when you're working in an industry, everyone has their own separate projects. That doesn't necessarily mean that there's division. If there is evidence, let me know in the comments below. I will 100% look into it and, you know, see if there's something that I missed. But I did a video earlier today about the High Republic and one of the authors. <laughs> Going to be doing more about, you know, every aspect of it just because, you know, we don't have anything else coming out that's Star Wars. They don't have any new trilogies. Cough, cough, wink, wink, Ryan Johnson. Where the fuck is your trilogy? Ha 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 You get what you get. Karma's a bitch, ain't it? Yeah. Got Luke Skywalker and Mando. Thanks, John and Dave. So, I don't know if I, I mean, I can't remember if I did a video on this. I'm sure I did, but uh, I'm going to do one again just to remind everyone of this situation. So, back before you know, all the titles, all the characters were announced for Star Wars The High Republic. This photo leaked of, you know, the whiteboard. So, this is kind of their their goals and their plot points for The High Republic. If it wasn't enough learning about the people that were writing these books and, you know, doing the graphic novels, looking at it just right on here. And then, you know, they actually talked about this whiteboard when they did the High Republic stream over on the Star Wars channel. You can go check that out. The link is in the description of this video. So I'm just going to read through this and we're going to talk about it. So fiction, Star Wars, and Star Wars wishes. So these are the three categories that they have. So fiction, uh, authentically lived in, which Star Wars is known as the lived-in universe, whereas, you know, something like Star Trek is the idealized universe. Now, I have to talk about Star Trek because one of the authors is a Trekkie. Kind of funny how, you know, they ripped off the Borg for, you know, one of their main villains of this is a straight-up, you know, rip-off of the Borg, but they did it with... It's like if the Borg and Swamp Thing had a baby. And, you know, the, the, the dad from... Or the plant dad from that one episode of Goosebumps. Uh, so... Uh, surprise, diversity, a actual ending, feelings, relatable characters, sw uh, sweeping epic humor. Okay, first off, authentically living, that's already been done. Surprise, no, Luke, I am your father. <sighs> Terrible Darth Vader impression. Uh, diversity, did you not watch the cantina scene? Diversity was never a problem in Star Wars until, you know, crazy people decided, we, we, we have, like, so much privilege, like, we don't have to worry about finding food, shelter, or, you know, Wi-Fi. We have all this thing, so we, we feel privileged, and so now we gotta go make up shit to complain about to make our uh, ourselves feel better. Um, there's always been diversity in Star Wars. Actual ending, there was an actual ending to Star Wars. Uh, feelings, there's a lot of fucking feelings in Star Wars already. Relatable characters, hello, did you watch it? Uh, sweeping, epic, done, humor, yeah, this is, this has all already been done before. So, uh, Star Wars with the heart, not pro-war. Star Wars, not pro-war. So, I guess by their ideals. Oh, hey, evil empire. Uh, hey, Sith. We're not going to go to war with you to, you know, gain our independence and our freedom and, you know, get away from, like, this evil dictatorship. We're just going to be pacifists. 
even the Jedi had to fight in the war because it was the right thing to do. You know, heck, even if you go back into KOTOR and the whole controversy between, you know, the Jedi Civil War and, you know, the, the Mandalorian Wars and how, you know, Revan, you know, the, the Jedi Council, they you weren't making a decision. The Mandalorians were murdering and, you know, just taking over planet from planet. And so Revan's like, yo, bitches, we got to make shit happen. We got to do shit. People are dying. Deuces, Jedi Council, because you guys won't make a fucking decision. I'm going to go and I'm going to save everyone and then other shit happen. Um, I don't think they understand, but whatever. Let's continue. Uh, droids, scope, mythic, space, lightsaber battles. Uh, no single main character. The Force. Complicated monsters. Okay, let's let's go through this. Droids been in every Star Wars movie. Scope, I, <laughs> I I would think of like the the scope of everything, but they could just be talking about like literal gun scopes. I don't know. Uh, I'm not inside these people's heads. Uh, mythic, well, yeah, it's like the modern myth and fantasy. Uh, space and lightsaber battles. I would like to know if these people can write. A space and a uh, lightsaber battle. I mean, Timothy Zahn is still around. He, I mean, he did a Thrawn, a new Thrawn trilogy, you know, quite recently. Uh, that dude's pretty fucking good at doing space and lightsaber battles. Did they call him to do the High Republic novels? Of course not. Of course not. Uh, no single main character. Well, this this has been done before. I mean, you can go watch American Graffiti. You know, it, it follows, you know, everyone's different paths. Uh, if you actually know a little bit more about American Graffiti, you, you know which one was actually George Lucas, and so you kind of, uh, you might be a little bit biased to follow one character. Or you, you know, prefer, oh, I like following this character, I like following this character, I like following this character. But honestly, uh, I mean, maybe this is my own personal taste. Uh, you know, maybe there should be one that, um, I, I mean... You know, Yoda is going to be in it. So, I mean, that I feel like is going to be the one that everyone kind of, you know, relates to because everyone knows Yoda and everyone likes Yoda. Unless they decide to fuck him up, which they, you know, inevitably will. Um, but I feel like the main character I've been seeing is that that, that one chick with the, you know, the, the shit, half her head is shaved. She's everywhere. Maybe it's just because they're, you know, the more, uh, you know, forward in the process with her. But who knows? Uh, the Force. I like how that's almost, you know, that's second to last on the list uh, under Star Wars, even though their entire thing is about fucking Jedis. Uh, complicated monsters. Apparently the Rancor and Sarlacc isn't complicated enough. Apparently, you know, the, the monster that was living in the fucking Death Star's trash compactors isn't complicated enough, but whatever. Alright, Star Wars Wishes. High Republic. Uh, Relic Hunters, University, Dinosaurs, Representation and Diversity. Why is that a wish? That exists. Like, uh, like this already exists in Star Wars. Uh, I, what is this? Um, Arthurian Legends. They talked a lot about this in, you know, their little, uh, uh, their their little live stream that they did they kept bringing back oh yeah we want to go back to author like uh Arthur, i'm not even saying this correctly authorian legends and stuff like that it's like you do realize this is in a galaxy far far away you can pull from that but what what eventually happened if you actually go and look at king arthur oh yeah his wife cheated on him with his best friend he had a bastard child with his Half sister, and he dies, and the sword goes back to the Lady of the Lake. I mean, maybe, maybe there's different versions out there. That is, you know, I mean, remember that movie with Clive Owen? It's like, what the hell? This is King Arthur. <laughs> uh, the, but it's like, uh, all right. Apparent is there going to be a magical lightsaber stuck in a stone? Uh. <laughs> Well, you know, actually, I'm thinking about this now. The complicated monsters, that's the Borg slash Swamp thing. Uh, Borg and Swamp thing had a baby, and so all the plants have magical roots that connect to one another. And then somebody pointed this out. I was not familiar with this, but the the, the, the concept art for it actually looks like a, a, a hemp plant. And I was like, huh, 
the High Republic, which has, you know, moving evil plants that are all connected by Sith roots. And they all connected and they have one mind. We are the plant people. Kind of like we are the Borg. Uh, complicated, huh? Uh, rival Houses. So Game of Thrones, that, that ended totally well. Sith Empire. Remember, this is the High Republic. Guess what? Remember in, uh, is it Attack of the Clones or is it Phantom, uh, Phantom Menace? Phantom Menace, where he says the Sith have been extinct for over a millennia. So there's no Sith Empire, unless you're doing relics of the past. Uh, I don't think they're smart enough for that, though. Uh, Chaos Agents. Splinter Group Force Users. Splinter Group Force Users. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but <sighs> this doesn't wow me in any way, shape, or form. Honestly, this is kind of insulting. You would think, hey, you get this great opportunity to create this new, you know, time period in Star Wars. You get to use people like Master Yoda that were alive during the time, and it's going to lead up to the prequels. So you get to come up with the coolest, most amazing thing. You got to blow it up out of the water. You get to do something that no one's done before, even though they kind of have in the Star Wars expanded universe, but they decided, Kathleen Kennedy didn't know that that shit existed until she had a teleprompter in front of her for the Disney Star Wars Investors Day. But... Uh, this is what you came up with. You have, this, this is really what may, amazes me. When you get this opportunity to create something, you have the opportunity to change the world. And this is what you came up with. This is the coolest, most interesting, most dynamic thing you can came, come up with. What the actual fuck. Everyone! Let me know what you think about all of this BS uh, down in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to reading what everyone has to say. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay too. Thank you so much for watching this far through. If you did like this video, though, take a minute, if you haven't already, to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. That way you get notifications when I do other videos and live streams. And until next time, everyone, have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the Force be with you because we are really, really really going to need it. Bye everyone! What's up everyone? It's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and I have an Etsy store, so if you've ever wanted to own a print of my artwork, this is the place to go. As you can see, I have a lot of recognizable characters, from horror films, to heroes, to Star Wars characters. Some of the notable characters I have on here are Darth Vader, which I did a couple live streams painting, so you can own a print of this painting. I also have Luke Skywalker, the binary sunset version, one of my favorite scenes in the original New Hope movie. I have Darth Maul, which Ray Parks himself actually complimented me on Instagram. And then last but certainly not least, Ahsoka Tano. So if you want to own any of these prints, go right on over to my Etsy store. Again, that's the art of Anna, that Star Wars girl, or TSWG for short. Thank you everyone and have a great rest of your day.